Given two different types of fiber optic strands, one would not be able to tell the difference with the naked eye between a single mode strand and a multi mode strand. That is because the difference lies where the light travels, the core. In addition, both strands may coexist in the same cable. So you have a cable, for instance, this one that I have here. This 24 fiber cable contains both single mode and multi mode as can be discerned from the jacket. 12 single mode, 12 multi mode, but as you can see, there is no difference between the two. To be able to distinguish between the fibers, regardless of the cable type, one must understand two things. Number one, fiber optic transmission performance, and number two, cable color coding or ranking. If you look at this table, the transmission performance table reveals that single mode or OS2 fiber is the most capable in terms of information carrying capacity or bandwidth and distance. OM4, 50 micron laser optimized multimode fiber is next. OM1 or 62.5 multimode fiber comes last. Again, if you were to look at the gigabit ethernet performance, you'd be able to tell. In addition to understanding fiber optic transmission performance, next thing is finding out how things are ranked in the cables. Always, the best performing fibers come first in the cable. The important thing is locating the first fiber and the last fiber in the cable. In this example, the first fiber following the fiber color code would be a blue fiber, but there are two blue fibers in this particular cable, 24 fibers. One is plain, the other one has a tracer. This is plain and this has a tracer. Using the tracer, I've been able to separate the fibers into two groups or two sets, one without the tracer, the other one with the tracer. It follows that the first set does not have a tracer and the second set has a tracer. And because single mode fiber performs better than multi mode fiber, it's given priority and this would be your the first 12 fibers in the cable would be your single mode fibers and then this would be your multi mode fibers. For cable with buffer tubes, again the color code is followed. Blue, orange, green, brown, slate, white, red, black, yellow, violet, rose, and aqua. That those are 12 colors. Each of these tubes contains 12 fibers, so when the cable cycles through 12 tubes, that's 144 fibers. The first set has no tracer. The second set would have a black tracer, and of course the black tube would have a white or a different color tracer. And then the third set, bringing us to 432 fibers, would have a red tracer. If I had multi-mode fibers in this 96 fiber cable, it has eight tubes. The multi-mode fiber would be in the last tube, say if I had only 12 in this 96 fiber. And the last tube in this particular cable is the black tube. In a case of ribbon fiber, it's easy to find the fiber type because there is a print code on the ribbons. The example shown here has single mode fiber. For cables with subunits, the subunits are numbered. So your first fibers would be in the first subunit number one and the last ones would be the last number in the subunit count. So hopefully that makes it a little bit easy to understand where to find the different types of fibers in hybrid cables. Again, you got to understand how the fibers perform, single mode comes first, which is OS2, then OM4, and OM1 comes last, which is 62.5, and then understand the cable structure or ranking, where to find the first tube, where to find the first ribbon, and likewise. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email at cablesystems at coining.com, and remember, Coining Cable Systems recommends getting training fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes, of course, and we thank you.